it's Haley, and today I'm going to be doing my April TBR. So this TBR video should be kind of short because I actually don't have too many books that are on my TBR. I'm kind of just going with the flow in April because I've been struggling with my reading lately a little bit, so I want to just kind of let myself read whatever, but that being said, I am still interested in quite a few of these books and think I will be reading them soon. Also, a lot of the books are coming out in April, but I want to try and get to the April releases because May is a huge month for new releases. Before we get into the video, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and click that little bell icon so you'll be notified whenever I post. I put up new videos every Monday and Thursday as well as some bonus videos sometimes. You can also follow me on all of my social media. I will have the handles and links and all that jazz down below. So without further ado, let's talk about what I want to read this month. So the first of my six TBR challenges is to read a classic and I think this month I'm going to read Winnie the Pooh by A.A. A. Milne. I grew up with the story of Winnie the Pooh and it's one that I love and is so near and dear to my heart and I think it's going to be a great book. I don't think I've ever read the books. I've maybe heard some of the stories here and there as a kid, but my experiences were with the TV show and oh my god, that new Christopher Robin movie looks so good. I'm so excited for it. But I definitely want to read the original story and I think it will be a nice and quick read for this month. Next is a TBR veteran or a book that has been on my TBR for ages. So I'm going with Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller. I have had this since it came in the Owl Crate, which was like more than a year ago, and I really do want to get to it. I've heard such amazing things about it. I just have never gotten the chance to read it. I did actually start reading it while I was away in Europe, but then I got caught up with traveling, so then I never ended up finishing it. So I really am hoping to revisit it this month, whether it's in the audiobook form or just actually reading it. I'll be happy either way. Next is a new release from the previous month. So my new release for March is The Price Guide to the Occult by Leslie Walton. One of my absolute favorite books of all time is The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton. Leslie Walton, who can apparently not have a short title. But I honestly, I've seen a couple of reviews for this here and there, and I've heard that people aren't really liking it, which makes me so nervous, and I'm just terrified going into it, but I really am hoping I will be the odd one out there. I love Leslie Walton's writing style. It's so whimsical and magical and perfect for magical realism, which I'm assuming this one is. I don't know anything of what it's about. I just was like, I know this author and I loved her first book, so I'm going to just pick it up anyways. So hopefully I won't be disappointed by it, but I'm super nervous. Next is a new release for this month, and like I said, there are tons of books coming out in April, so I have options. First is Leah on the Offbeat by Becky Albertalli. I will for sure be picking this up because I'm so excited for it. This is a companion novel to Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda, but now we have Leah as the front runner. It's a story of her coming out as she discovers that she is bisexual. I'm so excited for her to be in the spotlight, and I feel like it'll be a quick, really fun read. We also have Ozland by Wendy Spinali coming out this month. This is the finale, I believe, to the Everland trilogy, and I listened to Umberland on audiobook, and I loved it, so I will probably be listening to Ozland on audiobook. They are awesome audiobooks. It's like a full cast. It's so cool, and if you guys didn't know, I'm an Audible affiliate, so you can get a book for free if you sign up for a free trial using my link. But I definitely recommend checking them out because they're really quick and fun and such engaging audiobooks. So it'll probably be a quick listen, so I think I will be getting to this one this month as well. Sky in the Deep by Adrian Young is also coming out this month. I don't know if I will for sure get to this one. It's one that I'm definitely interested in, but the other two are authors I've read before, so they're kind of a little bit of a higher priority for me. I did pre-order Sky in the Deep. It's all about Vikings and it sounds really cool. I just would like to get to the ones that I already know I like that author since I've been struggling with reading books that I haven't been loving recently. My next challenge is to read an arc that is coming out in the next month and I have two options here that I'm really looking forward to. So first is The Smoke Thieves by Sally Green. This is another Viking story. I don't know why there's so many Viking books coming out, but this is a high fantasy that's comparable to Fallen Kingdoms, Game of Thrones sort of thing, so I'm expecting it to be really brutal and intense and lots of politics and stuff like that going on. And the other arc I have is another high fantasy and that is Fury Born by Claire Legrand. Part of me wants to do like a high fantasy marathon, but I know that that will probably burn me out of reading. I just have so many high fantasies I want to get to. But this sounds really cool. It's all about two girls who have the potential to decide the fate of their world and they're in different centuries. It seems like lots of stuff is going to be going on here and I will probably be taking my time with this one because it's a really big book, but I would like to start it soon. The final challenge is to read a sequel and I think for this one I will probably be counting Leah on the offbeat or Ozland. Ozland would definitely count for that. So I'll be cheating a little bit once again and doubling up, but I'm focusing on writing so I'm fine with that. Next I have a few random books that I'm hoping to get to. So first is Uprooted by Naomi Novik. This is a fantasy 
to see a retelling that involves a bunch of different fairy tales and I love fairy tales for the springtime. I don't know why, but I just really do. So getting to this would be awesome. I know one of my friends said it was kind of like A Court of Thorns and Roses, so I'm very intrigued by that. Next is Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyami. Everyone has been raving about this book, but it's just such a large fantasy that I haven't gotten the chance to get to it recently. I've been struggling with all the smaller fantasies I have, so I'm hoping that this month with all the giant fantasies I have on my TBR that I will finally be able to break the curse. Next, I'm hoping to get to The Assassin's Blade and Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Maas. So I'm kind of hoping to do one book a month or maybe two books a month of this series leading up to October when the final book is coming out. These will be rereads for me. I don't know if I will physically read it or listen to the audiobook. I'll probably physically read it, but we'll see. And the final book is another reread and that is An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. The first time I read this, I actually read it physically, but I'm intrigued by the audiobook, so I think I will be listening to the audiobook for this one this month, and then next month I will listen to A Torch Against the Night. Is that what it's called? I forget. Why do I forget? But next month I will be listening to the next one. So those are all of the books that are on my April TBR. Let me know what you are planning on reading in April, and if you have read any of these books, your thoughts on them. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!